My name's Debbie Aaron. I'm Faculty Leader of Engineering and Associate Vice Principal. UTC is special because we don't just focus on educating students, we also focus on what they're going to do after we've educated them. So what the next steps are after Year 11 or what the next steps are after Year 13. The students get to use all of the equipment in the workshop, the lathes, milling machines, pillar drills, bench drills, plasma cutter. They can use casting equipment, welding and also the forge. When we're in the workshop we get to use different equipment like lathes, we get to use welding and milling machines. You get to use lathes, machines, all sorts of milling machines, robots, pneumatics, hydraulics, anything you can really imagine engineering based. So at UTC it's uh, development technical skills, so all of your, your engineering skills and your hand-on practical stuff. Uh, and I also did my soft skills, so a mistake called communication management. Doing turning on the lathes, using milling machines, on the forge, doing some welding which was a bit out of my comfort zone, but very enjoyable. I used the workshop a lot, so I used the layers, the milling machines, the forges. I also used the CAD facilities, such as AutoCAD, 3D printing and Fusion 360. It helped me learn my fundamentals of engineering, especially with CAD design, which I progressed into. So it's helped me learn about isometric drawings, orthographic drawings. P Stage 4 is all about the BTEC Tech Award. The course involves students learning about the different types of engineering sectors, so it's going to help them to choose the correct pathway for them. It's also got design elements, so they'll learn how to do a design, convert that into a CAD drawing. They then take those CAD drawings to the workshop and they'll create a product. Key Stage 5 have a choice of extended diploma, which is 3A level equivalent, or double award, which is a 2A level equivalent. What students tend to do for those two qualifications is they have quite a lot of practical work in the workshop, so that's using the equipment such as lathes, milling machines, plasma cutter, welding, depending on what the students have designed. It's really focused on you, it's not like a massive school where you're just another person. Everyone cares about you, your subjects are refined and you really focus on what you enjoy doing. UTC is different from other colleges because you've got smaller class sizes, You've got more one-to-one -one with the teachers. We have students working virtually and face-to-face -face with a range of our employers. That helps us to also set up work experience for students so that they can go into various different areas, trial it and see if it's for them. This place has a massive opportunity to, to play a big part in bringing through people who are ready to go into engineering careers with all the skills they need to succeed. It's really hard to become a, a passionate engineer when you're kind of sat looking at, at mathematical calculations on paper. I think when you can see that stuff in real life and when you can get your hands on some of the equipment you've got here, like the robotics and, and the furnace and all the rest of it, I think that's the stuff that sparks kind of enthusiasm in kids. Last year I did a four week work experience program with the Northern Nuclear Alliance. It's companies, for example, of Sellafield, Cavendish, BA Systems, working together to try and teach us a bit more about the nuclear industry as well as having us along a project that they set. To give you that knowledge of engineering as well as business engagement, to get work experience and give you the business connections to go into. At the UTC I got to work with employers such as Jacobs, Acom, Sellafield, Network Rail and Balfour BT. I chose to go to UTC because I had a passion in engineering and the facilities and the employer partners that UTC see has give me a good start in my future career. I want to see young people in Warrington and the surrounding areas getting the best opportunities. So students here will get the best education to help them secure apprenticeships, university places and great jobs. Employers benefit from these close links by ensuring that the education skills being developed here are exactly what they need. So when I left UTC, um, I joined Cavendish Equals and Projects Management Apprentice at Level 4, so a high level apprenticeship. Did that for three years and then moved into the role that I'm in now. The UTCs are, are, are really, really good in giving like a bespoke, diverse set of skill sets as well. And again, it provides real life experience. There's a lot of employee engagement at UTCs. And again, that's really good for when it comes to apprentice graduates, because we know exactly what skills the UTCs can provide, and we can then use that in our engineering and our workplace. It gives the uh, employees like ourselves confidence that students have a broad appreciation of STEM subjects and have that background in engineering disciplines that's been tailored to our industry. UTC offers that ability for children to be more hands-on, gain the skills in a way that works better for them. We kind of want to make sure that the younger generation choose engineering as a career path. So it's kind of putting engineering on the map for young people so they can then take that forward as a career choice. It helps them gain, gain access to those employers too. It helps them to decide what their particular areas of interest are beyond just the classroom, beyond just the theory, and actually see what happens in, in reality in the local area.